Okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, we're making a very important video. Uh, yeah, not one that's just therapeutic for us, mm. but one that I think other fans um, kind of want and kind of need to hear. Um, yeah, I think it's going to help people to like have us validate what you guys are thinking, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm Gracie. I'm Eliana. <laughs> and um, we're both college students. I'm a mm -hmm. senior. I'm a freshman. Yeah, um, and so we, we met in this really cool way. Um, basically, uh, we're both obsessed with queer cinema, specifically female, queer, queer women. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so, yeah, so I, when I came to college, I really wanted to talk to, like, more queer folks about um, shows and movies because it's always been a big part of like me understanding my sexuality mm -hmm. um, and I didn't really have that many outlets so for my final year <laughs> at school I thought why don't I just like create a community myself um, so so someone signed up for my class yeah I signed up I came in as um, a kid who kind of just really recently discovered um like how queer i was and i knew from my high school that how queer is that 100 <laughs> percent queer <laughs> um be gay <laughs> um and i was like i came from a high school where like that wasn't obviously wasn't the mainstream and i came to a college where it was like pretty acceptable and i just wanted to find um like a community who mm. um you know, it was, was more like me, mm, and I had mm. only had shows before that, mm, mm. Um, and so we bonded over how yeah. we, like, loved, like, yeah. our representation. Well, mm, yeah, yeah, we talk about representation a lot, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, the, like, the class was great. I still am teaching it again this semester, um, but Eliana and I got really close, and yeah. especially, especially because we both watched The 100 and would talk to each other about it. And, and we're obsessed with Glexa. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. But we have a lot of thoughts um, about what happened. Yeah. Um, a lot of thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so just a uh, quick outline of stuff we're going to talk about. Maybe not, maybe in this order, maybe not in this order. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about queer baiting and um, the exploitation of queer women in this show, um, and how it wasn't, it was actually beautiful, um, but how what happened in 307 mm -hmm. changed the dynamic. Um, we're going to talk about, um, uh, we don't want to call him by his real name because we kind of hate or do Yeah, right now. we are disowning him. Um, so, so <laughs> a few names that we are going to use. Also, by the way, we got notes. Like, look oh, at this. Oh, we have notes. Look at this. This is like 10 pages we long. Prepared. We prepared. We prepared, so. And we, our credentials, because we spent <laughs> and our credentials. an entire semester going over. Oh, and on my life. So yeah, like, like, <laughs> the same. And like, our okay. queer representation, like, yeah. throughout okay. everything. So, so a couple names we'll be using to refer to every the name Jason Roll. Uh, uh, J-Rat, but I did hear that was anti-Semitic, so we we're probably not going to use that one. Yeah. But we got J-Rotten, mm -hmm. J-Rotten Hell, J-Rotten Shit, and then a personal favorite, which I created, which I hope we can use most yeah. often, is J-Roadkill. <laughs> so so we'll, I be, it. We'll, be <laughs> we'll be talking about J-Roadkill. Um, and he did an interview on The Dropship, which is a podcast with two people like, like Joe something and JJ something and... Honestly, I could probably look it up, but I really don't care. Yeah. Um, so, but we'll be talking about what he said there. Um, we're also going to be talking about what we lost mm -hmm. this episode, because we lost a lot more than Lexa. Yeah. Um, and, and even Klexa, we lost mm -hmm. a whole fandom and, like, yeah, hope, we, I don't know. Like, yeah, no, like, she wasn't just a character. We're going to be talking oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. She was, yeah. 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 We're, we're going to be, you know, making some comparisons to other shows. We're going to, we have some metaphors we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um... We want to talk about some. This is something big that we're gonna bring up is um, intent versus impact. Yeah. Um, and how this show, well, no one seems to understand the difference, especially in this episode. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna talk about other writers and uh, cast uh, members. Other that, cast like, members are speaking up instead yeah. of Jay Roadkill. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and other characters in the show too, because it's really important to talk about the way the other characters were treated. Um, and and how now that I've noticed. Now that this happened, that my eyes are kind of open to the way other characters were treated, that I, 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 I noticed had inklings of things. Yeah, and that, like, we sort of ignored because we mm, were like, mm, oh my god, we mm, feel so great mm, about mm, this mm. whole, like, left representation. Yeah, which is definitely, like, like Raven, for example, like, yeah. Raven's treatment, I def mm -hmm. I think that's definitely a part of, of our privilege as being, like, able-bodied people, is mm -hmm. that we kind of, like, we were like, there are things that were problematic about yeah. her representation that we kind of let slide. Because we're like, oh, I mean, it's okay, though. Right, which our fandom word. Is like, I definitely want to be know. checking ourselves, too. That's, like, mm -hmm. a big part of the show. Um, 
uh, sorry, a big part of what we're talking about now is like, yeah. but like now that we have noticed that that J Rotten Hell sucks, uh, but we're aware we, now we can tear apart other aspects yeah. of the show yeah. that has been treating other people and, and other representations incredibly yeah. poorly. Yeah, and now I can't be blind. Like, like I got to wig up and like, no, like yo's other huge issues with the show mm-hmm. too. Yeah, um, we're gonna talk about uh, Lexa. <laughs> Yeah. Um, just her in general. And Je- because we need to talk about her because yeah. she's. Th- I mean, I don't even know how to say it yet, so we'll get there. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about the fantasy of the show and h- by killing her, like what that did to like. Like just the way the death was too. Yeah. Well, we were. T- oh, definitely gonna talk about uh, the death. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and like there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. Why that was so bad mm-hmm. and so like harmful. Um, we're gonna talk about um, um, why media matters. Mm-hmm. Um. Especially when representing minorities, and especially when people are telling you that what you're doing is impacting them, and like why representation matters because it yeah. does, and how you represent. Yeah. yeah. Um. And we're gonna talk about. Oh, I got. A, I got a big list of like different posts people on Tumblr uh posted that I want to like talk about because some of them, some of their thoughts are like incredible. Yeah. But I really really want to talk about the fandom mm-hmm. uh and like the power of us. Yo, we're the yeah. best. <laughs> We're, we're, we're some Twitter trends. We're here. We're queer. <laughs> we're queer. And we're trending <laughs> on Twitter for fucking sixty hours. Sixty <laughs> hours. So so. And then you know we have a couple uh more positive things. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're end gonna end on a nice note. Yes. like a positive note. Yes, but <laughs> like an it gets better note. It does. Yes, <laughs> but we're, when we end positively, we're talking to the queer women. We're not talking to Jay Roadkill. Yeah, we hate you. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about what we want you to do now because mm-hmm. we have a couple demands. Oh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so let's start by talking about queer baiting. Sure, and I got I got a a, a <laughs> quote. This is an interesting uh, queer. It's not a classic queer baiting like Rizzoli. Yeah, like, we're like the yeah. characters like Never. oh I'm just experimenting and then the, yeah. like the queer person. We did see it on screen. Second. Like they yeah. did have sex on screen, but mm-hmm. it was still queer baiting because we it, it was we were it was taken away from us. Like, yeah, we, like if you, it. Like, they knew that they were going to have to kill off Lex's character or write her off the show. Mm-hmm. So the queer baiting that they did was queer baiting because they led us to believe that they were going yeah. to make this a relationship that they were going to explore. To treat well. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, wait. So um, so before I get into queer baiting, I actually really want to talk about how, like, the reason... Okay. So I watched Glee, unfortunately... <laughs> And it was the worst show ever, but also it was everything I needed when I was in high school and, yeah. and, and was living vicariously through the show. And and Santana was really essential to, like, me discovering myself and watching the way she interacted with Brittany. Um, but uh, the writer of that show, Ryan Murphy in particular, uh, is horrible. But, um, and just, like, especially, for example, like, I Kissed a Girl. is the, They sang I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry as a way of empowering each other, the queer women. Uh, uh, but anyway. Okay, but but I basically want to talk about how like we talked about how the like we trusted you. We did. We trusted we, you. We thought we, we thought are professional. You were <laughs> like we 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 talked about it because we kept and we kept comparing it to every other queer show yes. and movie we watched in class together. Yeah, and we're like, oh, they're not doing this. They're not doing this. It's written well. Like um, like 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 I trusted you with my mind. Okay. We like, all did. We, we all had like so much faith in like, the show that this hurt. wouldn't totally exactly throw us overboard. We, we've like, like we're we've been hurt so many times, and I mean it's 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 interesting that we're making the video today is uh, Sunday. This happened on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, if we made this video, I think on Friday we would be crying the whole time. Oh yeah. So so like don't take our like reactions right now as like no we've sat about like, it we've thought about it. Oh yeah, it. we're gonna and we'll we'll talk about like like how my like our like. Uh, 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 an analogy I keep well, not an analogy, but an example I keep using is like how my chest is burning. Like, like I ha- like I think maybe we should look at pictures of of like said dying, and then we can start yeah. crying for some tears. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, like like I trusted this show with my mind, mm-hmm. and it turned on me, and that it's like I like we we we, we were careful, and yeah. that's why this is like particularly harmful. But, um, anyway, so. What, what, I lost my train of thought. What were we starting with? We were um, talking about queer baiting. Queer ba- oh, so here's the quote. Oh, yeah, here's the quote. Okay. Queer baiting. <laughs> this just looks up on Google. In a fanish context, queer baiting is a term used to describe the perceived attempt by canon creators to woo queer fans, but with no intention of actually showing a gay relationship being cons- consummated on screen. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I want to, I got a bunch of posts from Tumblr that I want to read. So this one's from Deca Hida. 
Um, Hedda. Hedda. Because Hedda. 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 <laughs> uh, I, 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 sometimes I say words wrong. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> Dicka Hedda. I want to pay Lex a homage correctly. Okay. Here's what she says. It's not queer baiting. He quotes. didn't. Yeah, he quotes. <laughs> He didn't kill her because she was gay. Unquote. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking shit. He didn't kill her because she was gay. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Lol. She was literally the only lesbian on the show and she was brutally murdered. Eat my entire <laughs> ass. Eat my entire ass. Yeah. But actually eat my ass. Like, yeah. um, and also, even if he's saying I didn't kill her because she was gay, no writer in their right fucking mind would actually go out in public and yeah. say, yeah, no, she was gay. She had to die. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and, um... So, so yes, so, so we, so literally the quote I just read before the, the one from Tumblr, uh, was that queer baiting is, um, is, is, you know, showing some, something, something, but without it being consummated on screen. Well, we saw it consummated on yeah, screen. Yeah, but then it was taken away. Immediately a, after. Immediately, like, and some people are like, I only had a commercial break. Okay, for those of us who watch it illegally, which I'm not saying is okay. <laughs> or, or we, but, we, we, we Mm. Yeah, I mean, or you fast forward through the commercial because uh, you no, have like TiVo yeah. or cable or whatever, or you recorded it. Yeah, you didn't have a commercial break. You had like a fucking minute to be like, "Oh, this is so wonderful," yeah. and then all of a sudden it just crashes and burns. Yeah, and I actually, well, uh, we were watching with our other friend Anna, um, and we were watching it like in my little movie room mm -hmm. uh, with my projector, and I remember. Uh, I started Snapchatting because when they kissed, yeah. we screamed. We were like dying. We were, I was so it was, happy. It, it was, I mean, it was like I wanted to remember that moment. So yeah. I took a little video. Um, and then, like, after we realized that there was like a potential death coming, I like, to, like, I couldn't, I don't know, it was just like so painful for me to even look at the joy we felt like two yeah. seconds. Like, like, the second she got shot, yeah. we were just like, like, I, del like, immediately deleted the videos. I can't even look at them anymore. Like, that joy... F I feel guilty, like, yeah. feeling any joy about them kissing because she's gone. Like, it, like, literally, it just took away the entire moment. Mm. Like, you thought yeah. you were giving the fans such a wonderful moment, but you completely no. took that away just by doing... Like, we can't we can't go on Tumblr and, like, I like we normally do, and we analyze and, like, yeah, make fun wait, of I Alexa some, and, like, yeah, well, for some, her candles or her, her, like, just, cr like, being dramatic as I mean, but that's crying. what I'm... That's what this idea of exploitation, like, I feel robbed. Like, yeah. I couldn't enjoy it for one second. Like, it, it like, I mean, it, even if they did kill her, like, in the next episode, I still think it would have been a level of robbing us because, yeah. like, um... Which I guess I guess is a really nice way to talk like to to like smooth into like uh uh um, like Clark going back to Arcadia. Well, I mean, like other ways, like like the death, the yeah. death itself. Okay, mm -hmm. so so first of all, she died like from Titus, um, who uh, I don't even I don't want to talk about him because I like I'm so angry. Yeah. Because um, we also, like, have that theory that he was behind Costia. He definitely thing, was. I mean, he said the same thing to her that she said to Co that she, she said about Costia, which is, like... Love is weakness. Love is weakness. Um, so clearly that came from him, and that's mm -hmm. why, she, you know, Costia's gone, and yeah. I definitely think he was involved. Oh, totally. And, and having... So, so I read a review on Variety um, by Meg Ryan, who... I have a couple thoughts about the review that she said. Um, because, and she kind of... She validated, like, our thoughts, but she said that... that the issue for her wasn't Lex's death, it was the compression. That was a big word yeah. that she emphasized. And I think and I think the reason why she, well, I'm assuming she's straight, um, I think that's a pretty fair assumption that would have mm. come up in the review if she wasn't. Um, but I think, like, okay. It, first of all, the compression of it hurt, but also the fact that she died hurt because unlike Jason, oh, sorry, oopsies, J. Rot in hell, <laughs> unlike, unlike Meg, unlike other straight fans, like, we see ourselves in Lexa. Lexa yeah. is us. Okay. Like like any like any other straight person, they can identify with whoever they want on the show. You can if you're a straight white male or just even just a straight you, male, you, you can have, you have, oh, you yeah. have Jasper, you have yeah. Monty, you even have Bellamy who's a dick this season, which is also problematic. Yeah. You you have like you, there, you have Kane. You, or what about any other show in the whole world? Like mm -hmm. you've had shows and you've had like, like I mean, turn on any TV channel, you see yourself. Yeah, I mean there. when when, you're, when you're, they you're golden. Okay? When they killed Finn, 
the thing was, was like, okay, I'm sorry if you were Clark and Finn Shipper, and yeah. that was terrible for you, but what you could do is you could turn on any other any show other and show. find yourself another and Clark could, and Finn. You could even find yourself a Clark and Finn, like, what about, like, uh, like Lincoln and Octavia? You want yeah. a straight couple to ship? Like, mm-hmm. you got a great one there. Like, like we see our bodies in Lexa. Lexa yeah. is, is, is so much more than just a character, and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and I think that's a big part of, of, the, the privilege of that Jason... Okay, so so we'll go in and out about talking about what... You, oh, damn it. Jay Roth and shit. <laughs> okay, what, what Jay Roth and th- shit said. We're so used to calling him by his real name because, because we, we loved him before that yeah. episode. We, like, had his had him as our adoptive father. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we really did love him. And it, that's and that's why it hurts so bad. Yeah, we were literally we trusted his you, biggest fan. And we, we hate you. Don't We really hate yeah, you now. We, we're pissed. <laughs> I mean... Like yeah, like I, okay. I, I kind of want to drop some tears right now to under like because I feel like we're we're in a. I, I mean, we like hanging out and we're both in a good yeah. mood now. <laughs> but I I, I don't. I want to like really emphasize that like this broke yeah. my heart. And we understand if you have to kill characters or write them off the show, but there were just but so you need many to treat her with ways. more delicacy because we see ourselves in her. And we the, don't get yeah. representation. And I'm and I'm oh. sure like the. You know, you know, you had to yeah. like progress the story and like do the alley trip thing, but we literally saw her get mutilated. Like cutting open her neck was also partly traumatizing. Oh, ooh, partly, okay. First, first, <laughs> okay look, look, before we talk about some of this stuff, that I definitely want to get to, but the, the yeah. death itself. Okay, it lasted a really long time, um, and throughout the death, Clark kept saying things like, "I'm not gonna let," like, like kept making it seem like she was going Clark's a healer also 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 somebody had their like yeah okay someone had their like wife or girlfriend who's a nurse who works with gunshot wounds analyze that and she said a no one would die from a gunshot wound if it was treated properly which Clark could have done and Mm -hmm. b it you wouldn't have bled out that fast and you wouldn't have died that quickly Mm -hmm. with the way that she was Mm -hmm. shot like Mm -hmm. and if you had Jasper get literally shish kebobbed and left out for days and Clark could fix him right up and he's a-okay Jasper is a straight white dude yeah uh, uh, he will live (laughs) yeah and he also he's being a whiny little bitch this season (laughs) well he is okay well yes he is but also he's still hurting okay well well, let's see how how actually I don't we're not watching the show we'll get to that yeah we're not watching (laughs) I was gonna say let's see how Clark deals how mourns this but I actually don't want to ever watch a show again um Mm -hmm. anyway but okay so so yeah, Lexa's death like lasted a really long time. It wasn't like like th- she could have lived if, but the show clearly like yeah. it was it was it unheroic. Was it was so Un- okay, Alexa, fucking and then okay, big uniter thing, of the t- the twelve thirteen and big clans. thing in grounder culture. Did you die well? That's the first thing she asked when she mm, heard Anya mm, died, and she mm. didn't die well. She Guess, didn't die for her people. There were she so didn't many. Die for Clark. There were so many parallels between Anya and Lexa. There's like yeah. so many accidentally of, shot by the sky crew fucking sky crew god damn it um, well titus wasn't sky crew i mean that well he mean, actually you're right but uh, like the stray bullet um, yeah meant for like yeah he yeah. wasn't sky crew but um but like lexa i mean here lexa is like going against the like blood must have blood mm-hmm. the, the 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 what's what i'm looking for like the the motto of of her entire people just to try and create a better way yeah and you have her die from a stray bullet. From and also, dis- the thing that she's trying to, like, push, like, Titus is so against, he's willing to kill mm. Clark. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, and then, okay, so then her death happens literally right after they have sex. And, um, like, literally. Like, we're not even exaggerating. Like, like it's like a trope where, like, once the lesbian you is at their peak happy- of happiness, up oh, they gotta die. <laughs> I mean, it was just done so lazy. Yeah. It was so lazy. It was, it was, it was so done, disre- disrespect. Like, I, I'm it getting, was done 14 I'm getting, years ago I'm really in fucking Buffy, okay? Like, when I want to talk about Buffy for a second. Oh, yeah. Okay? Let's, go ahead. Um, when, okay, so I'm still like 18. I'm turning 19 like a month. But, I you know, I'm so little. little. <laughs> um, but when I was, I watched Buffy when I was like my sophomore year, junior year in high school. So, like, 16, 15, maybe, no, not 17. So, like, 15 or 16 years old, right? Mm. And I wanted to, like, watch, I heard Willow was gay, and I very strongly identified her um, being, like, Jewish and, like, originally thinking I liked boys, but then finding out Mm. I liked girls kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I I heavily, like, I've never identified someone more than with Willow. And so I saw Tara get shot. Like, sorry if you haven't watched Buffy. Like, spoiler. Um, but I mean, yeah. she was shot in the same way, like, where the bullet was meant for the main character, Buffy, and it mm-hmm. accidentally hit Tara and killed her. And 
Willow could do nothing but like sit there and cry. And it took me a month to Ugh. get over that. I was so upset. And we talked about before about how like while Willow was a great character, like, like she, she didn't have the depth of uh, of Lexa. Like you mean you mean Tara? Oh sorry, Tara. Tara yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have the depth of Lexa. So like, yeah, so, like, I guess she was sort of heartbroken, but I was heartbroken. But yeah, like there was. I mean, th- th- okay. So and then also and then also like, I just I felt I felt terrible mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. Because okay, tell me. So what's going on in your mind when you see you're you're, you're baby queer? You don't. You're still like, coming to terms with yourself on, on some, some degree. Se- I'm and, seeing and that. And you're seeing and you're seeing this happen on the screen. What are you thinking? I'm seeing that I'm not gonna have a happy ending, mm. and I'm just looking at mm. that like, if okay, if I wasn't in college right now, um, mm. Mm. like personal note, I have a girlfriend now that I met here at college. She's the best. At, yeah, she's she's the best. She's wonderful. Um, a little shout out to Lee. <laughs> hi Lee. Um, hi Lee. <laughs> but um, but like. If I wasn't in college, and if this show, like, if you, like, remove it by a year, like, if, like, uh, episode 307 happened last year, when I was still in high school, in a Mm -hmm. place where I wasn't Mm -hmm. fully comfortable with myself, Mm -hmm. and still sort of unhappy about being gay, Mm -hmm. seeing that happen again, after watching Buffy, which was made 14 years ago, I would have been traumatized, like, I... I felt I felt sick, and even even yeah, with being in a up. very happy state right now okay. with a girlfriend who I love, she was she was like cradling me after this episode, Ugh. and I felt like I was gonna puke when I'm in the arms of my like real ass girlfriend, and I feel like I'm nauseous and gonna puke over like a fictional lesbian. But, like that's but, just wrong. But media media matters. Like it does. okay, so I'm I, I'm a senior in college. Okay, I have a huge support system. I'm teaching this goddamn class about this okay yeah. i have different levels of support around me my i'm out to my entire family mm-hmm. um and i broke down i broke down and i cried and i don't think i'm gonna get over this for a really long time yeah. um and and how like come on like what about the baby queers like what about yeah, the people we're seeing posts on tumblr where people are having anxiety attacks where people like, i mean i kind of scared did. to come out now like like <laughs> like you need to be considerate like intent okay so intent versus impact mm-hmm. so your intent wasn't to traumatize Obviously a bunch of not. oppressed people yeah. okay i got uh this, but this I, one. and you wanted to represent us which is great right. but, but impact the... of of killing of killing a, yeah. a lesbian character on a primetime tv show that as we made it very clear that we adore and not her, just a lesbian character but, but if you look at the it, but like and also lexa's it, oh. you know other other queer characters who've been killed confirmed lexa's first lover costia she woke up with lexa woke up with costia's mm-hmm. head just like mm-hmm. uh, so that's another confirmed lesbian death nyla who nyla has was beat up immediately after immediately sex. after sleeping with clark um um And then then now Lexa's dead. Um, And Clark, like, never seems to have a happy ending. I mean, Finn, like, before she was confirmed, like, queer, like, like, she still couldn't even have Finn. Like, j Rod. okay? (laughs) Like, I get it, you have to kill people, but you need to have more delicacy, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, you need to be aware that when you, like, yes, people are dying. Representation matters, yo! It doesn't count if it's bad representation, and if you follow a trope, a hated trope... Okay, so let's talk about this fucking trope, okay? We got some a, a little quote here from someone on Tumblr, yeah. Rayton, R-E-Y-T-O-N, represent, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, the bury your gay trope actually originated with the rela- sorry, with the relaxing of film censorship codes in the late 1950s, which allowed depictions of homosexuality, but only within a proper moral context, i.e. by illustrating that homosexuality is immoral and antisocial and punishing gay characters with death, depression, illness, ETC was the most simple and effective way of providing that illustration. Okay, so so basically, we're going to show gay people, but we need to make it clear that they're not going to live, they're not going to be Because it's wrong to be gay, so, yeah. and you can't be happy if you're gay. So, word, we live in a different time. Gay marriage is legal in the United States, but intent versus impact. You are still saying the same thing to us. Yeah. Like, we're hurting. Like, stop. <laughs> Like, cut it out. Like, like fucking it was just handled... Like Delphine and, died, uh, like, was it last year? Like Delphine the, died, like, what, six months ago? There's, like, in the same way, getting shot. And yeah. then some girl named Shay from Chicago Fire... I don't watch Chicago Fire. Neither there's, does Gracie, but... But, we wait, heard, here's, there's a little... There is this post. Um, the, expendables. the Expendables. And it's literally... I, you probably can't see, but it's, like, all these lesbian characters... There was a... Yeah, there was a... Who just... My, from Pretty Little Liars, Maya was killed. Maya was killed in season two, and then all of... Okay, also Pretty Little oh Liars... Oh my god, fucking skin! They killed, uh... Naomi. 
they she got cancer. Yeah, God but like also much. with Peel Liars, they do the worst job at representing Peel liars. queers Peel liars. because I I'm okay, they, they, Peel, Peel out trash, but also I hate <laughs> it because every other girl besides Emily has like stable ish love. Long than half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! But like everybody yeah, else is done. like sta- we got a lot more yeah. notes. <laughs> everybody else like oh okay so like Arya and Spencer and. Hannah, they have like stableish relationships, mm-hmm. usually pretty much. Um, like right now, it's weird, but like Emily has never had like a stable relationship. Like, I mean, I guess you could say Paige, but like Paige was fucking psycho. Like the first interaction they had, like Paige tried to drown her. Like, <laughs> what the hell? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, good representation okay. versus not. Yeah. Like, does it count? You know? Okay, so, so and then there's okay, so the the the, the triangle. Okay, mm-hmm. pick two. It's gay, no one dies. Or it's well written. Or it's well written. We thought, this is what I'm saying back to like trusting, like we, we trusted you. Because mm-hmm. it was all we, three of those. We really it was d- It was beautiful until that episode. How could you do this? It was actually beautiful until the death because the, the, the set, like the scene where they're finally together, that was so beautifully done and the emotions were so You well ruined done. everything. Like Eliza like, and Alicia did such a beautiful job. Like Eliza and Alicia are amazing. Yeah. And like, I mean, they could... Okay, I, I just, like, really, really, really want to I- reiterate how you hurt me. Like, you hurt us. Like, you hurt Yeah, it's women. not just... You just didn't hurt the two like, of us. Like, 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 <laughs> like, I'm heartbroken. Um, and, and, yeah, I'm, like, calm right now. But I was, like, like, really, really hurt. And I'm gonna be hurt for a really long time. And I want to talk about what we lost. Okay, so I got a little mm-hmm. analogy. I was talking with one of my friends who watches football religiously every Sunday with all of his friends and it's like a ritual they get to do it every Sunday and yeah we had a ritual like every Thursday yeah. we'd watch the hundred yeah. together and it was yeah. like so fun and yeah. cute yeah <laughs> yeah it was and it is and we'll find ways to make this to keep hanging out obviously mm-hmm. but with with this football analogy like so football I was listening to this podcast that's really about how football is like a really interesting way that men are allowed to show emotions and men are allowed to be to care about things because masculinity is like really fragile in particular ways and so football is a masculine way that men can kind of um, show that they care. So so a lot of guys have talked about the ways that like the only time they ever bonded with their dads like was by watching football with them because their dads aren't able to like form emotional connections beyond this like masculine framework. Mm-hmm. So so football is like a way for people to bond. It, it's a, and it's like every it's like a ritual and you get jerseys and you like go out to the game and you spend money and you like think about it and and the guy I was talking to with it uh, it's funny cuz as I was talking to him he gets a notification on his phone and he told me that that uh the the what's it called the the, the, the um some some team got a new president or something, and it's and and like he care he follows blogs about football like it's, football is 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 so much more than just like a, a football like a, a a sport and then so if football was made illegal as in like someone decided that it was too violent um to play and it was too harmful and we're done like you cannot play and there's no there's no more um you're losing a lot more than your team you're losing your ability to connect with your son you're losing your ability to, to spend it to to what's it called when you have like the uh when you like have food out of the back of your car like a uh, tailgating tailgating oh, okay you're yeah. losing <laughs> look at us but 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 you're losing much more beyond this game and and we lost so much by killing lexa okay well, yeah and in such a way like you're a sci-fi show like you did it in such a way that there's absolutely this is no the laziest way to bring thing I've ever fucking seen. Okay, like I'm so like she got angry. shot by a stray bullet accidentally because like, she walked into a room. Do better. Like I mean, if you okay, we get it. She's on another show. Like why don't you have her? I don't know. Like you talked about going to a coma. Yeah, going to a coma. So like if she went, if like if she still got shot, but like Clark could like sort of save her, and she just had to be in a coma. You still take the you know chip weird thing out and oh, you give it to the next traumatizing commander. was that to fucking see him that was, her body over that was his... awful he like he like i mean he did it like sort of gently but then he like cut into but, her but, neck but and then carried her body like with and then clark, clark still sitting sobbing there, there like this was so disrespectful i'm so upset i'm never like, i don't I, even yeah Oh, like, hate. I get that you had a show, like, the cool sci fi This happened mess, immediately but... after they had sex. You had this, like, tr- traumatic, horrific fucking scene. Like, it was... I mean, I'm burning just thinking about how much this hurt, okay? Yeah. And, and, and here... and But once again, like, we are out, okay? And we have support systems. So mm-hmm. what are other younger queer girls thinking when they're watching uh, this? I'm just, like, thinking about myself when I'm, like, 15-year-old me and how much, like, Tara's death hurt me. Like, I... 
Okay, here, this, here's, it was just here's, terrible. here's, okay, so, so, to, I'm gonna read some people's thoughts about how Lexa is more than just a, a TV show character. Yeah. Okay, uh, Decca Alexa says, not to be a fucking idiot, but I love Alexa so, so, so much. I feel like I've actually lost a person. And then she goes on and says, um, they're, Clark and Lexa are not getting another kiss. There's, there's Lexa's literally, Lexa is literally fucking dead. There's no more of her. Another, another person says, um, um, this is the first character death that physically hurt me. And then people saying, Lexa, I love you. I'll never forget you. Mm-hmm. Um, a piece of me is gone because little bits and pieces of me. I, this is Hida's Lextra. Um, also, I mean, we'll, we'll go, well, I'll say this after. But a piece of me is gone because little bits and pieces of me I found in her were also pulled away from me. Deca, Deca, Hida. I'm gonna, Hedda. Hedda. Why do I keep saying it like that? Okay. Nights like this make, make, make being, being gay, gay really, really sh- shitty. I never want to feel shitty about being gay. I love being gay. Fuck you, J. Rotten Hell. Like, I love being gay. Like, this is... I get to yeah. connect with characters so deeply and like it, this. And it also takes a while to figure out that you love being gay. Like... Yeah, yeah, Like, you yeah. go through, like, a For huge real. struggle where you're like, oh my god, I hate myself, or, like, I hate this, or, like, I wish it was some other way. And if you're finally at oh, a yeah. point where you love Remember being gay, that's, that's amazing. Um, and there shouldn't... And a TV show... Shouldn't have the power to do that, but like. But it does. It TV does. media map. So okay, so so we're losing Lexa. We're losing Clexa. We're losing the ability, the rituals of watching the show together. We're, I don't care about the show. I don't trust it anymore. My heart is oh, broken. Oh yeah, no, I'm done with. What that. else are we losing? We're losing the fucking fandom. The fucking. We had such a great fandom. Like there's like the, the we're, now with the Fear the Walking Dead fandom. By the way, congrats yeah, on like, your new fan base. Fear congrats. The Dead. We are yeah. We're gonna be so petty, yo. Yeah. But but uh, like. I mean, even the memes about Lexa and the candles, like... Yeah, like, like we, we could have had so much fun analyzing that, like, beautiful scene that was right before... We we were robbed of the ability to enjoy that scene. We yeah. were robbed of it, okay? Like, we can't... I cannot watch it. I'm upset. I'm uncomfortable. Like, You talk about depressing. your ratings going up because of, like, fan, like, hashtags and Twitter stuff. Oh, you lost a lot. Like, there yeah, could have been Jay, so Jay much. Jay Roadkill was also, like, posting this, like, really disrespect. Like, his big reveal was that, like, the, the, the commander of the... Spe- First of all, how lazy the the, the Like, fucking, I figured it out before the episode the, ended. But, Sorry, like, the wasn't spirit of the clever. commander isn't even... Isn't even... The spirit of the commander isn't even, like, this, like, deep thing in, inside your... Like, yeah. like inside your soul. It's, it's like a technology. fucking... This, this, yeah, like, that. Remember he tweeted before, like, like, don't... Like, live tweet. Don't, don't reveal. Don't spoil this shit. Like how disres you. We don't. Nobody cared. Nobody cared about, about that fucking, fucking technology reveal. thing. We cared about Lexa dying. Even even the Bellarks were upset with how Bellarks you treated. And if upset. you know the and if the other if the oppos- opposing side of the fandom is <laughs> pissed at you, you know you dumb fucked up, J Rat. <laughs> J. I got my little list here. J Rat and I fucking hate you so much. I'm smiling now, but I'm literally burning, and I'm gonna come for you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about the power. Okay, so the power of the fandom. Yeah. So let's see. I, I got some. Let's talk here. about his Twitter dropping. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's talk about that. And Alicia and Eliza went straight like, up. Yeah. His lot. He went. Up. He dropped like 40, 50, 60. I don't remember like yeah. how many thousand. It's still dropping. Yeah. It's, that's great. Good um, job, guys. Good Keep job, going. guys. Guys, guys. We are we guys. Let's talk about the power of of us. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like wait, wait, I'm trying to find this post, but how long people were were Lexa was trending on Twitter. Um. Like sixty hours. It, it's it was still. A, it's still trending. She's, st- she's still Alexa trending. Alexa better was trending. Yeah. The 100 only... No, no. The 100 only trended for, what, five hours? Okay, the 100 only trended for a couple hours. Yeah. Lexa trended for 15 hours following the episode with over 300,000 tweets. Lexa deserved a better... T- Lexa deserved better trending yesterday for eight hours straight with over 100,000 100, tweets. So there was... And there was... A, she was trending again Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday she was Sunday, trending yeah. again. Four days like, later. Like, we're... Like, like okay. Uh, uh, we talked about before about how, like, we're making an example out of the show. Oh, yeah. We are, we're, we are gonna do... We're, we're basically gonna cut Jason's head off. Stick it on a on a on a pike or something. This is Viking style. Viking <laughs> style, and hang it above, and basically make an example out of you. And everyone that yeah. walks by is gonna say, "We are never gonna." Do yeah, this. look how look, look how the what, queers re- reacted the to queer, this, especially the queer women. Like yeah. like like, not no. We deserve better. Yeah. Lexa deserve better. I mean, we are Lexa. Lexa is the show. Like, we are going to destroy you. But this show my, is over. One of my favorite over. posts was like, wow, I hope Alicia is getting a, 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 a massage right now from carrying the, like, the Carrying the show for so long. Carrying the show on, for, on so long. Back for so long, yeah. <laughs> so on her back for so long. That was great. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so, 
So, so we got Adina Porter out here. Okay, yeah. so the other, so yeah, other people in the cast, like Kim, and and the writers too, and the writers, writers too are like, oh, I want to, I just saw this on uh, Twitter. I want to just read what one of the writers responded with. Um, so someone asked him on Tumblr. They said, um, I'm not asking for a discussion. This is, uh, what was, I forgot his name, but his Twitter, his Tumblr name is OKBJGM. Someone says, I'm not asking for a discussion of the process. I'm really just asking for a yes or no. Did you know this trope existed while you were writing it? Um, with, and was it a concern while you were writing? And then he responded by saying, I absolutely did. It absolutely was. We discussed it. And yet, in spite of all our best intentions and conversations, we were naive enough or arrogant enough to believe that the LGB representation in our show and our ability, sorry, and our ability as writers would uh, su superate, superate redeem. and superate and redeem our use of the trope. We were wrong. So he basically apologized. Yeah. Um, which look, thanks. Thank you. Thank but you. we want one from. We will. For, yeah. First of all, what do we want? Okay, we want yeah. one from Jason. <laughs> Jay. Roadkill. We want one from Jay Roadkill. We want an apology, a real fucking apology, yeah. buddy. Okay, like, you like, can't, you, yeah, and one without swears, and one that's super genuine. Yeah, because of what you did. We want a real apology, and and not good enough. We want you to fix it. Yeah. We want you to fix it. We want Lexa back. Well, okay, and I understand it's, that she's dead. That she's dead. But it's you, a sci-fi show. It's a sci-fi show. It's a sci-fi show. We also, want her. We don't. Also, and we don't want the spirit back in someone else's body. We want yeah, her fucking I mean, in okay. Lexa's body. Well, I mean, if it was, if it was, I mean, if they no. really can't get Alicia no, back. No, nope, nope, no, no, okay, no, okay, no. They have to get okay, her back. Okay. Nah, nah. But also, also, I watch Walking Dead, and I know that Walking Dead can like kill off people willy nilly. She could die any moment on that show. And you know what? If she dies in, okay. like, this season, you can have her back. <laughs> Wait, but l let's talk about how petty we are, okay? Yeah. We're gonna fucking queer women all around the world. We know you're out there. We know we're, we're taking care of each other. We're gonna yeah. trend, like, what? So we're, people talk about trending uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Thursday night. Yeah. I mean, More we're... like Fear the Walking Lesbians now. <laughs> Congrats on your new fan base! <laughs> <laughs> but, but... We're gonna like there was something trending about about Jason today being like Jason don't blame CW or something like yeah. like we are going to literally cut your head off stick it up and sh and and show you that that we're making an example out of you and yeah. we hate you. I'm so excited for Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, it comes back April 10th. Everybody yeah, yeah. tune in. And people are like, are you watching? Are you gonna keep watching this? Sh what show? What are you show? Keep watching this show? What show? What show are we talking about? I, don't know. I, I thought we were just talking about Lexa because that's the only thing that matters. <laughs> but yeah. But Except no, we're going to talk about some other things, too. Yeah, okay, so this video is definitely getting really long, so yeah. we should carry on. Apologize. Okay, actually, no, we don't. We have a lot That's of thoughts. That's true, yeah. Okay, let's see. We have the thoughts that everyone's Oh, yeah, Adina right Porter's now. out here. To, okay, so, yeah. Let's talk about, um... Adina Porter. Adina Porter, Morgan. who plays Indra, yeah, and Lindsay Morgan. Who plays oh, Raven. yeah, so I definitely want to talk a little bit about how once we saw that this happened, we started to, like, force ourselves to think about the ways the other minorities were treated mm -hmm. on the show. Yeah. So, so... The show has a pretty diverse cast, and I definitely want to acknowledge that that's important. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's good to see, like, lots of different, like, like, fucking races on screen. Like, yeah. that's essential. Like, we, we can have a post-apocalyptic show when everyone's white. But, but, uh, so, and we have, we have POC, we have black men in particular in power. Um, um. But not the right kind of power. And, and they're, they're horrible. Like, yeah. crazy. Like, like, one is a psychopath and one is a sociopath. Yeah. Like, <laughs> thanks, congrats. Like, 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 <laughs> this goes back to what we're saying. Representation matters yeah, if it's good it, representation. It's, it, we don't want to see. We don't want one being a drug dealer and one committing genocide. We don't want to see. We don't want to, yeah, like, it's like, that doesn't help serious? anyone, okay? So, so who's a, so, so looking back, now that this happened, mm -hmm. um, there was a character, there was, okay, so, so Wells was a, a black man that was one of Clark's best friends. Mm -hmm. That reminded me a lot of Lexa in that he compromised his own happiness and like, like like Lexa made so many compromises for Clark and like fucking. I mean, she went against the motto of like the whole of all of her people. Yeah. Like blood must have blood. She went against that to protect Clark and to try and make a better way. And and Wells kind kept, of kept kept that secret for Abby. Mm -hmm. Um that, and just tried to protect Clark. And and he was killed, um in the most pathetic uh like yeah like, like a little girl stabbed him in the neck like. And, and I remember when I first saw that, to I make her nightmares thinking, like, like, wait, wait, you just killed, like, this, like, we don't have many black, black men on the show. You killed yeah. this, like, young black character, um, but because a white, like, baby stupid girl, like, just... Had nightmares? Had nightmares, like, what, like... Because his dad did something? Like, you, like, like intent like, versus impact. You need, like, there are not enough 
like shows that have like like young POC. Like, congrats that you made the character's best friend be POC. But if you just kill him, well, yes, and and, and, and by the way, we're not like I like it's very important to make a distinction between POC, POC and, and black. black. Yeah, um, and then we definitely want to uh, be cognizant of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I remember just now that I'm looking back, I'm like, wait, that was actually like not okay. And this, yeah. you know, goes back to my privilege of not of like being able to, <laughs> but but because that's my privilege of like of like. I, I don't see my own body in Wells, so I remember watching him die and be in that way, like, and, and, and being like, I let it go. Mm-hmm. And like, we could, there was, like, something off, but, yeah. like, we're like, okay, I mean, we're here for, like... We're, we're here, yeah, we're here, yeah. well, we were... We were well, I mean, yeah. like, I knew there was Klexa, like, I didn't actually yeah. start watching The 100 until I saw a gif of Clark and Lexa kissing, and I'm like, what is this because, show? Because we're thirsty for shows, yeah. okay? Yeah, because we don't we, have We don't anything. have any shows, and so, okay, so... So another character. Let's talk about Raven a little bit. Um, okay. So Raven is like Latinx. Let's um, talk about. Let's talk about before she had the disability. Let's talk about her and Finn first. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um. So Finn comes down and after ten days decides he's falling in love with Clark, who is a white woman. Mm-hmm. And then when Raven comes back, he like. He like picks the white girl over the Latinx girl, like in that who he's known his entire life and who mm-hmm. he let himself get sent to like jail for and was about to get floated for mm. and he just gave her up for white girl clark yeah that he just met yeah like that and that like, was bad <laughs> yeah and oh, yeah and, and also like like raven well now like we can't take away her disability because that's like a huge part of her character that yeah and, but but also like it has now become her character like okay let's talk so okay so we have we have on screen we have like, raven is a female Latinx character who is um, disabled, mm. uh, physically disabled. That is really rare. We don't usually yeah. get that. So so, and we ask for more. We want more Raven. So so, what do they do? What do they do? They they, they, they put her in the storyline that where, we did not really like at first. Even and we still hate actually. Yeah, um, we only started liking because Lexa was in it. Yeah. But then now she's like you know. But so. but they but they put it in the storyline. Okay, basically okay. They what, gave what, her drugs to take away the disability, and so it doesn't like yeah but but basically yeah when we okay when we say we we want writers to do better when representation we want we we want want to see her physically triumph i don't want to see any more lesbians like remember you ever watched south of nowhere yeah i don't want to see i don't want to see any more lesbians getting like moms walking in and pulling them out of their beds i don't want to see that okay Mm -hmm. i don't want to see like i don't want to see people coming out to like okay on glee like how much her grandma and her grandma like kind of disowned her like like sometimes like, like that does happen, and, and look sometimes, it. sometimes, sometimes it's good to see that it's important. But like, but like, like if it's every ra- single time, like I don't want to see. Okay, we have a POC female disabled character on a primetime TV show, and 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 her storyline is only about her disability. Like what? Yeah, I it's mean, only about the pain that she has now, and then now she has to cope with it by like taking yeah, drugs. Like they did, they did a good job with Lexa because her sexuality yes! wasn't the most interesting thing about her. Let's which talk is about that Cosima Taking thing. for like Cosima's yeah. quote from or- Orphan Black, but with Raven, that was her, dis- her whole thing. Like, why can't you see? Why can't we see her like? figuring out a way to deal with it and make her life like move forward and continue when we want know. more raven we don't want her taking drugs to deal with her fucking yeah, pain we that's want, we not want do do better that's do, terrible right do writing. better you can't give us characters that's and like then a shitty have them out. have them have them like have them basically like forced to, to only exist within the trope of their oppression yeah. or the trope of their pain like you need to do better okay mm-hmm. like you can't and like and we keep saying, like, you need to do better. And, like, I guess t- maybe that there is no real responsibility to do better. Mm-hmm. But, but, this is a show that is, this is, goes back to that exploitation, that is using the fact that it is doing a good job with minorities and doing a good job yeah. showing people it's like, oh, we're to so its advantage. But it's if you're not. gonna if you're gonna claim being progressive, you need to follow through. You cannot just you can't follow show them on screen. Tropes. Look, I don't think, I don't think... Like, like having, having Ja Pike is not helping anyone. Okay. You're, you're, you're putting him on screen and you're having him commit genocide. And like, you, and, and, and the whole fan base kind of wants him oh, dead. Oh yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about also now they're killing Lincoln now. Lincoln. Yeah. Back, so back to Lincoln so the two, and Wells. The two main deaths this season oh, yeah. are a, a lesbian and a black man. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and I want to talk about how like Lincoln has nuances and like dimensions that like remind me of Wells. And mm-hmm. these are both like, man of color, 
men of sorry men of color mm-hmm. that are are killed um it's just it's like it's it's lazy it's unacceptable like you need to think about intent versus impact yeah. okay so there's a couple more things i want to talk about so so we want an apology from from j rat j yeah. j rotten hell j roadkill and we want you to fix it i don't care how find a way to make her alive again Oh, maybe it's a little much. That's, yeah, I was. That's okay, a, I'm just kind okay, of I'm, I'm really like at least at least okay, okay. My thing is that I'm really don't. I'm really sad. <laughs> I know. I know you love her, but like my thing is that don't give Clark a new love interest right away. Like no, no, I don't. Her, I don't even want to. Like I mean, I'm not gonna watch the show, but th- for those people who continue watching the show, they should see her mourning. They should see her it affecting her. Like Finn's death, like affected her, but like they were together for yeah. not even a month. Yeah, and like. like this was like a slow burn, okay. a huge build up, and then she witnessed like this was. Tr- I mean, it's really, it's really. I mean, they made it really clear that like they are soulmates, yeah. which I appreciate. But you killed her, so so it's the like like the this like I mean they keep they they keep making all these beautiful parallels like this maybe someday, which is yeah. reflected in from two. Like they tried so hard to make it good, and they did. And they, until like this is like this is why this is why I'm, I'm just like hurting because. You could have done like this. Just a good show. Like like you did such a good job. You did. You really did this. You did a yeah, great this, job. It, it was. It was a beautifully written story. You guys did great, and you could have done better. And it hurts. We trusted you. We loved you. We loved this show. The show was everything to us. We was. Uh, we don't. I mean, like, like. I looked forward to Thursdays. Thursday became one of my really favorite fun. days of the yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Ugh. Okay. So. Should we try and end on a more positive note? Yeah. There's a couple of positive things you want to say in okay. this video. So first, well. yeah. Sorry, this is like almost no an hour. apologies. Okay. We got a lot of thoughts. First, first positive thing: there are fanfics coming that we have hi- Like we're not not like us writing it. We can post. Like, we can post some of them in the little. Yeah, we'll, we'll post below. them in the links. We'll, like, and then also a letter to J Rat that someone posted. We'll yeah. put that in the link but, too. But like, like, like queer women, yo, we're we're beautiful. Like we are, we are so powerful. We are everything. Okay, and there there are people right now writing fanfics and, ba- and there's that one start there's one that lo- hijacking this hijacking it that like starts yeah, right from the, the end of the sex scene and just what the hell takes the story Lexi cares I got yeah. It. yeah yeah I got yeah, it. yeah yeah Lexi Lexi cares, cares on tumblr um uh, uh basically saying like you know it's what? called the hundred reborn you did it you did it yeah you did a good job so far and then you ruined everything, and we're gonna ignore it and just and make just it better. And just continue it um, in our awesome way. And there's and I own lingering lilies also is like uh, someone I followed with Glee who just made beautiful, beautiful stories, and she's mm. gonna definitely write some stories too. Um, like, like I'm so humbled to have people like this that like want to take care of me and want to take care of other young queer girls. Yeah. Um, and so like thank you. Um, and but I also want to talk about okay another another. Another positive is that I'm never going to let this happen again. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think anybody is. I think this is being an example. Like, it's making like, an example I, of It's making, but also, but also, I'm speaking specifically, like, to myself and to a few other people I saw online that were like, you know what? Enough. Like, I, I've always kind of wanted to make my own content, like, queer content. Yeah, um, same. Like, I'm now, in a writing And now class. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Actually, like... I'm going to represent myself, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to make... I don't know when, but I'm going to make a TV We're not trusting sh- these straight white men to represent us anymore. Like, screw that. Like, we're, like we're going to do ourselves. Yeah. Like, like, no one like, knows us better than like, we let, do. Let, like, let's talk about like the power of Shonda Rhimes for a second, who's, like, changing the world, like, with mm-hmm. her TV shows. Like, she basically said, I'm going to... I know I have talent. I know I have stories to tell. And I don't want anyone else telling my stories. And I'm going to do that. And, like, I think a lot of other, like, followers of the show were just enough like it this is the straw that broke the camel's back where yeah. it was like no i want to take this into my own hands mm-hmm. like i want to take care of myself i want to take care of other young young queer girls like i want to make a better world for us yeah where we don't get brutally killed after, after having sex with our love interests like uh like because that sends a terrible message it really yeah. does like if i <laughs> like it just i just keep thinking of like just a year ago me or like little me and it just it makes yeah. me so sad. Yeah, Because yeah. I'm so, happy now, but, like, there are people who so, aren't. Yeah, so, so positives... I'm going to end with one other thing. But positive yeah. notes are that, like, the fandom is amazing. We love each other. We're going to find... We're going to... We're just moving into the Fear of the Walking yeah. Dead. A, um, yeah. um, we're going to take care of each other. Uh, more fan art, fan fix. Um, um, and there's lots of people that decided yeah. that now they're going to make their own shows, including myself. And on a real-life yeah. note, 
um, just because we see ourselves die and suffer in TV does not yeah. mean that that has to be what happens to you and that happens in real life because we're happy now, right? I mean, I, don't, I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> you have your I'm, own drama life, right now. Life is great for um, me. Yeah, but, and I mean, I'm really happy. I'm me. happy in a queer relationship that I, in a gay relationship that I'm in. Um, I love my girlfriend and she's the best and it's she's wonderful. Best. And I can look at shows and be like, that blows and that's really shitty and that's terrible but right now i'm yeah i'm happy and screw that so, because you know yeah like 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 we're doing okay we're doing yeah. we're doing great actually like like baby gays like we yeah, love, baby we love gays, you we love if you're you. in high school or even in middle school maybe elementary school i we don't love know you now, and, and, and it, everything it is, is like is better it's, it's it's all right. Like yeah. you're, like you're okay, and and we're gonna take care of you. Okay, like yeah. like I'm gonna make a show for you one day. I promise. So we'll see. But <laughs> I really do want to do that. Um, and um, and I hope this inspires other people too to make their own content. Um, mm -hmm. and I oh yeah can we can we, can we uh, read oh yeah but yeah well so uh, like we talked about how we felt like robbed of of being able to enjoy a lot of the 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 good. I mean, also, that sex scene was so beautiful, too, because yeah. it didn't really reflect the male gaze at, at all. Oh, not at all. Um, and we've talked a lot, I mean, even in class, we talked about, like, uh, like blue is warmest color. Um, yeah. And, like, how that was hard for us to watch and, like, inauthentic <laughs> and, like, for, uh, for a, male, a male viewer. Mm -hmm. But but uh, in, in one, in one, oh, oh, my. Oh, my Hedda. <laughs> oh, my Hedda. Oh, my Hedda says. A Tumblr person. Um, yeah. In my first attempt. At a non-depressing analysis of 307. Because everything was depressing. Because <laughs> everything was depressing. But we gotta try and like, make this okay yeah. somehow. Actually, we can't. But we'll, we'll try and stay positive at least. Mm -hmm. Clark just knew, capital N, <laughs> knew how to unfasten Langston's shirt. She didn't even have to look. She just clearly, oh, so clearly she'd already figured it out. By that point, she had thought about doing it. <laughs> Clark did get that shirt off real quick. Yeah. I mean, that was a great kiss. Like, that was fantastic. Oh, it was it was wonderful. We um, were celebratory. Yeah. So so we're trying to end this on a positive note. Yeah. We're heartbroken. Um, it's not going to go away anytime soon. We're still really sad. Um, yeah. We're just making this video because we, we want to put a smile on someone else's face. And, and we yeah, wanna, and, like, if they want, and if they feel like they need, like, a person, like, to we're here. talk to. Or, we're here. Yeah. We're here. We're here for you guys. We love you. Mm -hmm. Even though we have no viewers, no fans. This is our this is my first video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully and someone will I have watch a YouTube this. channel too, but like well, we can not link, really. we'll definitely yeah. you. Well so to our our no fans. Our no we fans. have no fans. We have no fans. We love you. We <laughs> have also this was really therapeutic for us. Yeah. So we're helping ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we done? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>